We had 10 days to shoot this film. From script, filming, editing and submitting. Uh, and we didn't know anyone. No. We'd, we'd been on the island like five days and someone said, oh, there's this film comp on. Yeah. yeah, the people we knew were people Ginsky met out when he was drinking, which is what he's carried on doing. Standard. And so we had four or five drunks to work with. <laughs> and they became the lead roles, which was handy. Yeah, no, yeah, we uncovered some talent, which we'll talk about. It was one of the more difficult ones we've shot. Definitely. Logistics of it, the people that we needed to get involved, the, the makeup, the yeah. shots, the, the, the audacity of the script of let's blow 50 yeah. zombies off the face of the earth. I, I put the uh, explosion in at the end without consulting Ginsky, and he would be the one who had to come up with it. So I probably should have done that first. Yeah, he just lump, he hands me this piece of paper and goes, right, make that. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, thanks, man. There's an explosion at the end, blow up everyone, sort that out. Google it. Yeah, yeah, simple, easy. But just the logistics, like we're on an island, uh, there's limited uh, things available for props and things, but even just makeup, there's no makeup on the island. Was, we thought, oh, we'll just get some white makeup, it'll be pretty easy. None. None on the not any coloured makeup on yeah, the island. I know a foundation. Any. Women use foundation, and that's all we needed. None of that. Um, and I didn't even know what the word was for, for makeup in Spanish. Yeah, so. it would just go makeup, and people are like, what? No, that's a face. Makeup. So we ended up using paint, uh, water-based paint, and uh, the skin was a mix of flour and corn starch. I don't yeah, really know what it is. Corn starch and water and just mash it up and become this kind of blobby glob. A whole heap of tomato sauce. I'm serious, we went through four or five litres of sauce. We went through a lot. And it was most, mostly on cat. <laughs> Uh, which we'll get to soon. We did a fight scene where we arrived at Underwater Vision and there was 10 or so zombies coming and we killed them. And then after we watched it, we are like, there's not enough blood. There really isn't enough. No, no, there was almost no blood at the time, yeah. actually. It was like a PG uh, movie and that's fine, but we wanted a little bit more blood. And it's tomato sauce, so it's not too big a deal. So we got uh, Kat involved. Um, prior to that, she hadn't done anything with, one of the, with any of the zombies. She didn't even have a weapon. So we, we actually had to reshoot everything and she had a, um, a snorkel. And we said we asked her if she'd be up for bludgeoning someone, bludgeoning a zombie um, with a snorkel, and she said yes. What, what do you know about the role, that specific scene? Well, about hitting someone, I knew it was going to be fun. <laughs> Originally, it was it was supposed to be her bludgeoning a zombie once or twice, but she just looked so good. She just kept going, and it was emo emotionless too. It wasn't like angry. You know, I don't know where she was in her mind at the time. It was like she was just kneading dough. Yeah. The, she was at peace bludgeoning that zombie. Can you pretend that you're bludgeoning Simon again? Let's just see how good you are. See how good you are. <laughs> no, the angle was all wrong. Oh. Oh, in the ear. I'm just preparing you for the, the sequel in which you get more sauce on you. People were asking us about the captain, Captain Hoover, because he, he's, the, he's the first character you see in the movie. And we're saying, we'll just get, get Captain Hoover to... Yeah to kill me off straight away. And then the first person that I said that to said, who are you going to get to play Captain Hoover? I was like, what are you talking about? Captain Hoover? Hoover? I said, he's not going to do it. <laughs> yeah. I said, what? What do you mean? Nah, you won't get him to do it. Not, not a chance. The day before we started filming, the day we had everything <laughs> like the, else organised. evenings before. I was going to go and talk to him, but he had a, a problem with the boat that day. And people were just like, don't talk to him today. I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Just give him some lines in the morning and just say, say brains, he, he, <laughs> let me make you up. Uh, so I waited a while, spoke to him in the afternoon, pleaded with him, uh, but I didn't even have to. He's like, yeah, I'll do this. So, okay, okay. Yeah, and he, he okay. again, stole the show. We, he, he started slowly, but he came into his own, especially one scene where he's biting my head. I don't think we actually have that particular part, but he got splattered with sauce. Oh, it was all in his eyes yeah, and stuff. No, I think we might have cut it or, or started recording again. Blood straight in his okay. eye, tomato yeah. sauce straight in his eye. And people were like, that's it, he's done. He's going to turn the boat around. <laughs> he's like, he's done, this is But to his credit, morning. it was great. He just said, yep, this is, that's cool, let's keep going. Originally, we'd written the movie where the end is kind of, you jump in the water, just jump in. And then one of the girls, um, Jen or Cad, or one of the girls said, why don't we do a giant stride in the water? Because I wanted, I wanted, when I wrote it initially, I wanted it very dive oriented. That's why when you see yeah. Timon, you guys lead, yeah. I'll follow. Yeah. Whatever. And it was originally there was a whole bunch of BCD stuff and yeah. air regulators and all that, but we decided to cut that out because it would take too long. We only had three minutes. We had three minutes to establish that there was a zombie plague, uh, establish that the boat had been taken over by zombies, that the uh, dive scene had been taken over by zombies, that the entire island had been taken over by zombies. And establish our characters. Who does what? Who's yeah. the instructor? Who's the saviour? And then blow the zombies up in three minutes. And so it was... A lot got cut. Um, we can show you a bit of that. Uh, some, some cool ideas that weren't, just couldn't quite happen. Uh, but the, the dive theme was important. 
Um, a lot of people ask us about zombie movies, you know, you're going to film it at night. We wanted something completely different. We wanted it sexy. Um, so bikinis and swimmers and skin uh, and brains and blood. Just yeah, good, good juxtaposition. Mm. Like horror in the day. It doesn't usually happen. And there's no better location on Utila to shoot a movie in, than this place. It's great. I mean, look at this. It's, it's quiet. It's yeah. sunny just about all the time. It's warm. It's hot. It's good, good for having people walking around in bikinis and board shorts. And we wanted to bring the dive centers together as well. Uh, there's always competition when you're in a situation like this. But, um, you know, everyone's sort of friendly. And, and these types of things bring people together. Um, we've shot some movies and, and videos in the past with different communities trying to bring them together and that's part of the reason why we do this sort of stuff. And I thought it worked really well. We had probably a representative from, the, from every dive centre. And the amount of um, accents in the show. I think there, yeah. were, there would have been ten accents in the movie. And I don't think there's one, one double up accent no. anywhere in there. We were the only ones diving this morning. Diving has given me everything. Hey, they're all zombies. If you go down there, you'll die. I think the entire island is infected. So why weren't we? Yeah, we unearthed a lot of talent. Timon was amazing, um, Mr. Uh, Action Man. Diego was great, some of his acting is just... And dialogue's hard to do, you know, anyone can run around and you can pretend to, uh, you know, an action shot is easier than a dialogue shot. He was great. Yeah, he was great. He, he delivered uh, exactly how we wanted him to be. We wanted his character to be like the Paddy scuba dive instructor and he just perfectly, that's why we did his little hand movements and... I need you guys to, yeah. I'm going to lead, you guys follow. We had to change the ending though because it was a bit soft, you know, just jumping in the water. Originally it was us jumping in the water and the zombies were defeated, wow. We needed a punchline and we needed uh, Isaac uh, to deliver that line. Problem was he'd just come off a motorbike. Came off a motorbike hard and he had scratches and grazes everywhere. That wasn't the major problem. The major issue was his toe. He'd done so much damage to it that they need to remove the toenail. Yeah, so he not allowed in the water for like two weeks. But it was a water, sh water scene. He needed to be in the water to shoot this. So we came up with a, a plan and that was to cover him in plastic. Uh, we reassured him that it was going to be fine. Ginsky had done the sums, hey, drawn up plans, divers. got our duct tape out and we covered him completely in uh, plastic. And it was just two or three seconds after he got into the water, but he <laughs> took oh, oh, water There's, there's water in here already. He's like, oh man, let's hurry this up. Let's get it done quickly. So when he delivers that line, like he's worried about his foot. Um, he's got his arms up. It's just, it was a tough line for him to deliver. It was great done. You know, it was hard. It was hard. It took you guys, it took you guys a couple days to convince me, but... Yeah. Who, who ultimately convinced you that Ginsky's knowledge, we'd, where'd you get your confidence? Well, I mean, once you guys, you know, I was like iffy about it. I wasn't sure if I was going to get in the water and really throw my foot down there. But as soon as you guys bought all the materials, bought the body bag, the body, the body condom and the other bags and everything, I, was, I had to do it. Well, we hope you enjoyed the movie. We enjoyed making it. Zombies in Utila was one hell of an experience. Yeah, it was over too quickly. We'd like to do a feature length one day in Utila. So we'll talk to the dive centre here, the underwater vision about that. We have to! We're out of fuel! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the fuel money coming out now. Action. <laughs> Where'd you get that, Timon? And again. Where'd you get that, Timon? And again. Where'd you get that, Timon? And again. Where'd you get that, Timon? <laughs> Keep it in my wet suit. Next to my suit. That too. <laughs> really? Really, uh, we were the only ones diving this. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. Yeah. And you again. You want me to keep doing it? Just do it once, once more. Okay. Good. Can I kill you? Do you want to give me back? I reckon it's fair. Do you want to take off your white top though? It's kind of nice. Yeah, well. This is only fair because I got you a lot. Yeah, this is fine. Does it get in your eyes and stuff? I don't know, you tell me. Whoa, that's good. Oh, you're good. Okay. I do, why are you trying to wash my hair with it? Because <laughs> it won't fucking... Oh shit, not allowed to swim on I, I didn't get your eyes and stuff. Oh. Not this time. Oh. <coughs> Can someone direct me to the water, please? <laughs> no. no, I think you should carry on talking to me I like that. I shouldn't have given you the option. <laughs> <laughs> How did I think that was going to end? Exactly. <laughs> the wall. How did you think that was going to end? Give an eye on our stuff. All the ketchup's gone now.